Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, Ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And Taya, here, at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. And here, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. 
Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known that. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Tia, she gave him the care he needed. My Charles, where do you think he is now? He's... I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace, and you deserve to rest. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly, tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. You should get some sleep. You'll need it.
Yes. Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor? You don't want to hear about those. Try me. In my sleep. Chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two poor souls are trapped inside. A man and a woman, screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. I wake with a start and rush to the window. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor, and you may wish us luck. I shall not wish you luck. I shall wish you salvation. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you wouldn't they? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be... Uh... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. Firebane. She says I'm the reckless one. Where are you? 
up in the meeting house, are you? Who's there? And there? Why would you go up there alone? I'm hoping. And there? I suppose you specters have seen it. I... You're the boss and all, but you could have included me. stood a chance. Matea, are you hot? Where are you? I'm here, my love. What happened? Yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? Where's Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement.
Yes, Anthea. If you laid a finger on her... You know what? Come to her aid? Oh. There is no aid. There is oh. only... Oh. Oh. Retribution. Give him back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your marrow, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. to her aid now when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go! You're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. It's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, and answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? Of course it matters. It means you're alive, and you haven't given up. Oh. 
What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. <laughs> have faith. You say that you do not know me. Easy said. Harder done. What comes easy in life tends not to matter. It's the hard stuff that counts. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why do you hate me? I serve my mistress. She bids me help you, so I help you. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Home. To Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if... or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we... meet again then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. Is, but I'm staying away from it. Where am I? Not the time. Leave me! Come on, you mongrels!
Am I the last bloody living soul here? What is happening? What? That's here? There! It's here! Oh, God. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Antea! Call me to you! Where am I? Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry! I'm here! Lead me to you! Spectres! Here! Atea! Are you there? Yeah. 
Take away it all, you. Right here, my love, right here. Tis you. You. you have me. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow me. Where are you going? Over here. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Where have you gone? Antea! Do not be troubled. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. What can I do? Charles's Bible. The tie that bound his ghost. Some essence remains upon it. For now, it will do me. you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. What happened? It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter. How are you feeling? Awful. And with a few more words? Angry, frustrated, useless. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. 
After the nightmare killed you, she held me a moment longer. She mocked me. And she let me fall. I waited for the rocks to claim me, but instead I hit the sea. Part of me wished to embrace it. I think I felt you at this point. I remember the despair in your voice. I called to you for a long time. Struggled in the waves till the tide brought me ashore. I woke up in a cave been rescued by a young woman named Seeker, a witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me and I'd bring you back. Red, it's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. Just maybe. We could consider it. I mean, if there's the slightest chance I could bring you back, I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted to. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, my love. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close. <laughs>